makes the mix as special as uh, the, the fact that we've combined, you know, a paddle and a scoop and raise. So your, your normal conventional feed mixes that you have a look at normally have like one or two rotating components. Um, it's normally either paddle, uh, it's, uh, some of them only have augers in them. And the combination of the augers and paddle, that is what makes it so efficient. Feed mix is much more accurate. Um, in terms of our quick lead mix, our fastest mix, it doesn't have any dead spots. So your feed flows throughout the mix between the, um, between the two augers and the paddle. And of course, the tumbling action of the paddle also creates a type of a fluff, which gives you more aeration and gives you basically a much better, softer feed mix at the end of the day. The other difference, big difference that we have is that on our top auger, we've got about 115 serrated blades. These blades are there to cut your, your, your grass, your roughage, and uh, because of the speed at which, at which this uh, auger turns, you actually get a much better cut, much faster. With that as well, we've got blades in the belly of the machine. So the paddle pushes the feed and your roughage through these uh, blades as well. Um, and that also adds to the cutting efficiency, efficiency of the feed mixer. So if you're the train driven machine, it's heavy duty, American standard, sprockets uh, and, and, and chains. It also makes your maintenance uh, much easier and of course much cheaper. A lot of feed mixers have uh, expensive gearboxes on the mixer, which is a bit of an issue when it comes to replacement or maintenance on it. You know, your sprockets and chains are something that can be maintained by the farmer himself. That's why our feed mixers, a lot of our feed mixers are exported into Africa. It is perfect for African conditions. The, the parts that are on the feed mix are not some parts that you'll have to be imported. It's parts that you can find at a lot of different you know, outlets or, or power transmission suppliers. In our machine, we've got a six millimeter floor. And on top of the six millimeter floor, we have a four millimeter line. So effectively, we have a 10 mil floor in the machine, you know, to add to the robustness of the machine and of course the lifetime that you can get out of it before the machine is going to need replacement. Your paddles are, uh, are 20 millimeter mild steel. Your bottom auger is an 8 mil uh, mild steel auger and your top auger is a 6 mil mild steel auger. Then of course we've got, you know, a 8 hole heavy duty rim. 80 by 80 millimeter axle, which is also heavy duty. We also have a 207, 257 by 75 channel frame, solid channel frame, on which the machine is being mounted. So the back of the machine, there's a place for you to load bags onto, there's a platform for you to stand on, and we also have a small feed trough at the back for your concentrates, where you can feed your concentrates into, which is not too high. It's about 0.1.5, which is much, much lower than our feed mixes. One other thing is also, of course, our PTO, which is a A8 PTO with a slip clutch. Feeding can be done um, either by TLB from the top of the mixer or on the platform at the back. Once your, your ration has been mixed, you've got a, uh, a hydraulically actuated door on the side of the mixer, uh, which is open from the tractor seat. Um, and you'll, you'll basically discharge that directly into your, your feed trough as the guys are in driving and that's been done from the driver's seat. Bars are really available. Um, the maintenance is super easy on a chain, just you know, put a bit of oil here and there, a bit of grease in your bearings. Um, it's designed for African conditions, um, so in terms of the structural integrity of the machine, that's built to last. What you're getting in terms of you know, quality for your money, um, we, we try to put as much as we can into the machine at a very, very low cost. So I think we are by far, if we're not the same, we are much lower than your normal mixes of the same size. This mix is much better. Uh, in terms of uh, mixing efficiency and homogeneity, getting a homogeneous feed mix um, um, from your machine. You know, so if that's something that is important to you, that's something definitely the mix you should be looking at. The B2000 feed mixer 
is a, it's a nine cubic meter uh, feed mixer and uh, you're looking at doing about two tons uh, per cycle. Um, a cycle normally lasts for about 20 minutes and uh, when we talk about you know cycle time that is feeding the mixer, mixing, cutting time and offloading within 20 minutes. Our feed mixers um, as well as our other products, our hammer mills, um, our, our pilotizers um, are manufactured in South Africa and um, uh, at our factory in Johannesburg um, all our parts are made in-house um, so our parts are readily available can be manufactured within a very very really short period of time um, so we have a, a trained technical staff um, that can uh, move out onto site on your farm in South Africa and repair machines uh, um, on site um, which means less downtime for, you know, for your farm, which we know, you know is uh, quite important.